Hi everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand. Welcome to another video. Healthcare systems across the Western world are crumbling. They are falling to pieces right before our very eyes. And this is happening because our healthcare leaders are completely clueless. They are not focused on the real issues that matter and will make a difference to their populations. And we are seeing some abysmal consequences of the lack of real leadership in healthcare. One country that I want to focus on for this particular video is a country very close to my heart, the United Kingdom, where I spent an extended amount of time back in England over Christmas and the beginning of the year, and I was told some unbelievable stories related to the deterioration of the healthcare service in that country. It was very sad to hear. But the story that I want to focus on in particular is with regards to ambulance waits, which are through the roof. People having emergencies cannot rely on the emergency services anymore to get to them. And let me share with you this article, which sums it up perfectly, the situation right now. Ambulance is taking 90 minutes to get to 999 calls. That is the equivalent of 911. Patients with emergencies such as heart attacks and strokes in England had to wait more than 90 minutes. That is an hour and a half on average for an ambulance at the end of 2022. Record worst waits were also recorded for life-threatening cardiac arrests, while A&D waits of over four hours reached their highest level ever. This is actual data from the government admitting to this terrible situation. And we have had multiple stories reported across the media about people who have died from heart attacks while waiting for ambulances, which were taking an unbelievably long amount of time to get to them. Other stories about elderly people waiting on the floor for hours, sometimes even over a day, believe it or not, with broken bones, broken hips. It is very sad to read about all of these stories. The healthcare system in England is full falling apart. So right now there are actually intermittent ambulance crew strikes in the United Kingdom. Ambulance personnel are striking because of conditions, because of pay, and that's obviously making this situation much worse. But what you're seeing there in the figures is not simply a result of the ambulance and emergency personnel going on strike, although obviously that is making things much worse. While I was back in England, I spent a lot of time with many old friends. Many of them are still working in the healthcare service. They are doctors, they are general practitioners, other specialists, and they confirm these stories that the NHS ambulance service simply isn't functional right now. And frequently, believe it or not, this is also, remember, a first world country, supposedly. They have to tell loved ones to take their ailing relative into hospital by their own transport because there are no ambulances available. Now, obviously, I practice in the United States and we have our own problems. We have immense problems within our healthcare system. But thankfully, as of yet, I haven't heard of this particular issue with ambulances not being able to reach patients. If you're in the US right now and you have heard of unbelievably long ambulance waits like in the United Kingdom, then please comment down below because I think one thing that we do do in the United States quite well is deal with emergencies at an exceptional level. We get emergency care to people very, very fast. Hopefully we don't go down that route over here. But as for England, I am very fearful right now. And I've heard this story is actually repeating itself across many other Western European countries. Ambulances simply aren't functional. I am very fearful for my loved ones, elderly relatives in particular, back in England. I mean, what is the point of living in a country, of being a citizen of a country, working hard your whole life, being a good citizen, paying your taxes your whole life, trying to do the right thing, if the one time you need your country's help when you have a medical emergency, they are not there for you. They let you die at home. What is the frigging point? You tell me. And it makes a mockery of the complete healthcare system. It's a complete joke, especially when you consider what's been happening over the last three years. Resources, massive resources diverted towards pandemic management. I remember when I would go back to England during the height of the pandemic, there was a rule that if you entered the country, you had to stay at home. Initially, it was for, I think, 10 days, then it went down a little bit. But believe it or not, while you were at home, 
they had representatives of the healthcare system actually drive to your house to check that you were at home. Then, when the jab rollout started, people, millions of citizens, were receiving text messages constantly to make sure that they would get jabbed as soon as possible. Those were the resources available. And now this same healthcare system basically leaves you dying at home. If you have a heart attack or a stroke, they leave you on the floor. If you're elderly with a broken hip, they can't even get you. Again, what an utter joke of a system. Even now, if you were to discover, say, a suspicious mass lesion, they were worried that you might have cancer, it could take weeks, maybe even longer, to get that assessed and operated on in many parts of the country. They basically leave you to die. But think how all hands on deck they were during the pandemic. But now, if you really need help for a life-threatening situation, you can't get it. Your loved one will have to drive you into the hospital. And if you make it to the hospital, you face an unbelievable wait. You may not even be seen. There are no resources whatsoever. I don't really know what to say. I don't practice medicine in the United Kingdom, but I'm sure my viewers in the UK may have a thing or two to say. So please do feel free to comment down below. Thanks everyone for listening. I'm also pleased to announce the creation of my new online course, The Dr. Dand Method, where I teach real health and well-being, how you can regain control over your health, and how the establishment under the influence of corruption has led people down the wrong road for decades, for decades. It is a sad situation, but I want to teach people how they can really be healthy. So do check that out down below. Remember, three things. Modern mainstream culture will make you very sick very fast. Huge swathes of the medical establishment and healthcare establishment are completely corrupted, and fewer things are to be more cherished than our freedom. Thanks again, and we will talk again very soon.